Hey, it's me. Oh, my thank you. Tate from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Well, here we are in the thick of things. Oh, by the way, when I say the Pattersons, let me just explain something. I just got this. Uh, Percy Lee makes these, you know, sweatshirts. You see right here? This Marcin section of the Bronx as well. It's actually born Marcin Hospital, but I was made right here, the Mont Haven section. See, that's the real South Bronx right down there. Yeah, Port Morris. I mean, Port Morris is just that doesn't matter. That's where I was born. So when I say the Pattersons, Patterson projects are right there in the Mount Haven section. Just so you know, gotta clarify these things, you know what I'm saying? Well, here's the deal. First of all, you know, this 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 virus thing, because you know viruses you, well, viruses don't know no borders, right? And if you try to close your borders, <laughs> Good luck with that. Viruses will jump over. But right now, I'm in a funk. That's what's happened. I got, let me open this thing up. I can't go home to Africa. And that sounds pretty dramatic. But I can't go to, home, to my home and my peoples in Africa because South Africa has closed its borders to, U <laughs> to the U.S. Oh, the... Well, whatever. But so I got to deal with that. There's a whole big, big thing behind that. But this is uh, some uh, vitamin C powder. So you should actually be taking, and they give you a little spoon with this. So you should actually be taking vitamin C powder because the vitamin C goes into your system better that way. Let me stick this in here like this. Because me being the extremist that I am, <laughs> mixing my vitamin C power powder, because, you know, vitamin, vitamin C will flush out your system. That's why you should take the, the powder with, I say, absorb better. But being the extremist that I am, I mix it with, you know, supposed to mix it with juice or water. I mix it with pure organic prune juice. Make sure this sucker <laughs> make sure it goes into my system. <laughs> It's like it's early in the morning. It's like uh, three, two, two, two. it's almost four o'clock in the morning. I got up about now. Here's the thing: I went to bed very early, and you know I can't sleep up for so long. And so this is a Monday. Now I was born on a Monday. Monday, like moon, moon day it comes from moon day. You know, like Sunday is Sunday. It comes from the sun. Moon day. Hey, let me tell you something. This is kind of interesting. I'll leave this alone right now. I won't, won't do it yet. I want to get a little bit warmer. But here's the thing. Not only was I born, born on a Monday, Moon Day, but I'm a Cancerian, right? So that means, and I'm, and I'm born July 3rd, see? So, July, like three is one of my numbers. July is the seventh month. Anyway. And, you know, it's so weird. I mean, I'm perfectly, I'm perfect, whatever. So since I'm born on a Monday, every Monday, I'm supposed to fast. So this is a Monday, I'm fasting, right? Fasting from, you know, time you wake up all the way to like midnight, whatever. So, so I'm doing that. But here's so weird. On my foot here, you know, you're not going to see it. I'm not going to show it to you. But on my, on my left foot, y'all can't see this. On my left foot, like that. Gosh. You all can't see this. Anyway, trust me when I tell you I have a birthmark on my left foot. And it's 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 a, like a, a new moon. It's a it's a dark, you know. It looks like a moon. It's a full a, a new moon, you know. You say, well, why are you going through all this stuff, man? Cause I'm I'm sequestered in. <laughs> it is so weird. I'm sequestered in this apartment during this thing. I mean, I can get I go outside and get the sun or whatever have you. But it's so weird because the people that they're supposed to be coming back, but if they and and um, and I don't know if they're coming back or not, you know. Um, now I'm supposed to, now, now I can't leave for Africa, right? But whenever they come back, I just go over to, you know, I'll cross out to my, you know, to my fraternity brother's house, to to, uh, to Buddy's place. And uh, if I stay much longer, then I'll just catch the, uh, what do you call it, the, um, uh, the Chinese bus down to Virginia. And then I'll be with my sister, who's a nurse, by the way. <laughs> Well, that's not going to help you be with the virus, or whatever it is, and it'll be, you know, my my grand nephew's uh, birthday, which is the same day as my wife's birthday, which I won't be able to see her because she's in Africa and I'm here. This is all messed up. Anyway, so 
So that's a, but now I've been thinking, I said, well, this is so weird because things have happened. Like I ain't seen my brother, for instance, we just found my brother like, like last year, the end of last year when I was here. I ain't seen him in like 40 years. That's kind of strange. Um, the, the people I'm house sitting for, I haven't seen them in a long time. It, just, it was by happenstance, they were going away and da, 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 da. They're old friends. Um, my, my best friend, he's down in Mexico. <laughs> Oh, guys, this is so messed up. You know, so he's just saying, look, so if I have to stay longer, you know what I mean, I probably, to tell you too, because he's a big house by himself, you know what I mean? But he has family uh, close close to him. But, you know, I'd probably, like, go to St. Louis, you know, and, you know, hang out there. If they let me out in New York City, oh, no, you know, hang out there. If I have to stay long, like, for a month or whatever, because he's a real big house, he needs help. Um, so, no, what, what's that, what, that, what, what that's going to be about. But then things have been happening. Like last year again, I finally did a will. Okay, and I'm just, just getting kind of dark. Don't worry about this part. I did a will. And see, my thing is, I had to do a will because I don't want to be buried. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be burnt up, so I don't want to be cremated. What I want to do, I want to be buried. I want to be, you know, buried at sea. In other words, just put that little American flag on me, slip me into the sea because the military has to bury me, and they have to do what I say. So, so you know, I'm Air Force, the 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 the, the Navy or the Coast Guard, whoever, they got to take me out and let me go into the sea because I'd rather be eaten by, by the little fishies, you know, than be redone like that, rather than be the wormies or or to be burnt up. Ah, I'm not into that. Right? So my will specifically says that, and I was very specific with that. So, so that's what's going to happen with that. So things have been happening, and then. Lo and behold, I just told you in another video, in another video, that this book here, you know, this children's book, you know, I was the model, that's me, I'm the model for this for this thing, and I just found this book. This came out in the 80s or something like that, and I just found this book at this at, 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 a, at a bookstore, and I love bookstores. Oh, Lord. So all that's saying, now here's a, here's, a, here's a really messed up thing. Okay, here's a messed up thing. See, I'm into the, I'm into numerology and also into the Rosicrucian way of doing things. And the Rosicrucian way of doing things, what they tell you is that there's like, uh, there's like seven 52-day fast cycles in the, in the year, something like that. Anyway, the, the one I pay attention to is the last cycle. And it was 52 days before your birthday, which would be May, May 12th for me. That's when things you got to chill out. You don't get whatever because that's when people like you know expire, you know, leave the planet. That's I mean, you know a majority, whatever. If you notice, people anyway, will get sick or something like that. Well, I'm not sick enough like that not right now. But here's the thing, man. Come if I have to stay here for a longer time, may 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 you know may be here. and I'm still here, and I'm why well, because this when this virus the virus is just starting to hit. And what's what's happened? They shut down New York because. They say, if you're in New York, they're not even going to test you because you have been exposed. Now, the reason that, that this, this is actually good logic, because what they tell you that the virus has a really big, a long shelf life or long life on stainless steel. What do you have on buses, on, on elevators, on trains? Stainless steel, <laughs> stainless steel. So, you know, you can put the gloves on if you want, whatever, you, but, but Believe me, if you're in New York, you have been exposed. So the only thing you can do is boost your immune system. Vitamin C, you know, but I, I take my, oh, should I take my, uh, yeah, maybe I should take my black seed. It's my black seed, at least one. I usually do, I've been doing, overdoing the black seed, to tell you the truth. You, you used to throw the two a day, but I do like one late night. I do one, two in the afternoon and one early before I go to bed, so. I take my black seed, drink the prune juice. I, I actually just, I, my bowel movement is fine. I just had a bowel movement, but I wanted the vitamin C, so I think, hey, this is a fasting day. I might as well clean everything up. I'm drinking out the bottle because this is gonna be bad for us. Anyway. So I'm going like, who? What does this mean? All this stuff, you know, my friends um, finding thing, coming up to the thing. Hey, okay, look, let me explain something to you. I'm the kind of guy, you know, that you have the glass half empty, half full. Well, my thing is, my glass is three quarters full, but things are still a balance. You know what I mean? I mean, in life, you're a balance. So what happens? 
is you, 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 you know, you're both good and bad. Your job on this planet is to be more good, if you want to put it that way, more positive than negative. So I'm re really more, much more positive, but I do face reality. I'm a realist, right? <clears throat> so now here we get to the gist of things. For those people who don't know, this channel uh, was originally, where it still is, is, is for archival purposes usually. And what I'm actually doing is sort of, it's like my, it's like my living memoir, you know, things that happen to me. At least this, uh, the, the commentaries are like that. But then I have other things like, you know, ADOS channel. I have um, the interview channel and the interviews. I, I, you shouldn't even be listening to this. You should be going to the interview channel because there are really, int really interesting interviews on that channel. Uh, and, and, and stuff like that. But then when I was talking to my brother, now I talk to my brother all the time, you know, but he's homeless. He's at, he's, this is long, this is long thing. Everybody in my family has a different thing. My brother's homeless, been homeless for a while, but he, he hangs out, he lives at the, uh, at the LaGuardia airport, but now they shut down LaGuardia, so he'll be at Kennedy more, right? And he has simple logic. My family's actually pretty smart. It's like, they clean the airports all the time, so it's the most cleanest place, you know, but, but anyway. So, so I was talking to my brother, and it was interesting because uh, we had to get him into another bank. You know, put him in a car with a bank because Chase was jacking him up, something like that, whatever it is. So he's he settles so all his money comes into that, and you know, but he, you know, whatever. But he said something interesting because uh, he actually watched this. He might be watching this video. Maybe he do it the whole time. Um, but he said something. He says, he "says Anthony, you know, uh, I really." Uh, I really admire, you know, you have children, you know, you had children, you know, I never had any children. Like he's, he's two, he's two and a half years older. Well, well, he's 73 now, right? I'll be 70 come July. That's, that's kind of strange. So, oh, well, it's going to like, okay, fine. But I have children, but I didn't, well, I raised, uh, it's a whole long story. Let me just, let me just go, go through this real quick. Uh, because just in case, since this is a memoir, just in case, I need a, a record, right? First time I had a child was accidental. But this is this is like in the 60s. This is, this is like, oof, this is like, I guess, was, this 1967 was the, was the, um, was the um, conception time. Um, and this was interesting because uh, I was, I was, uh, uh, I was going with the, with, with the sister uh, from, the, from the West Bronx up there, you know. Uh, in the West Bronx, I'm down South Bronx, and she, you know, she was in a stable family, like middle class, they have a heritage, whatever have you, and and and, and it was a house, you know, I mean, like a three story house. You know, she had her own room, whatever, and you know, it's children. But what? So I'm seventeen, she's seventeen at the same time. No, I was sixteen, she's sixteen. Oh, it's 17, 17, 17. Um, But her aunt, you know, her her aunt. Um, gave her advice, gave her advice, you know, use this for contraceptive. Well, it wasn't the right advice. Don't worry about it. I'm not blaming anybody. Anyway, so we had a son, right? The distinction of the fun son is that uh, he has a distinction, actually. Uh, uh, should I say his name? Yeah, it's Mark. So his name is Mark Anthony, right? Anthony, middle name. And, uh, and his distinction is that at the time, um, I was pledged to my fraternity, and then uh, did I make my? I had made my fraternity already, right? And she was, uh, but I knew, but before, anyway. So I knew, and because of the fraternity, she was interested in wives. And so the, the, the sorority just started that that next that that year, and so she was on the first line of sorority. I'm the third line of my fraternity. She was on the first line of sorority. Uh, that's Yvonne, by the way, and. Uh, Beautiful singing voice. She sang to me one time while she was pregnant, whatever. Da, da, da. So we see we have the distinction in our, our, our fraternity. Actually, so 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 Mark was born. And he's actually the um, the son of uh, of a, a, a sorority sister and a fraternity brother. The first one. So he's it's kind of. I don't think the fraternity actually, people know that. So he's that's his distinction. Don't worry about that. So he's born in 1968. There you go. Okay, fine. Uh, so, so at the time, what happens? What what what, what happens? My um, he, he would 
he would come over to my, you know, he would be with Yvonne, be with Yvonne, but he would come over to my grandmother's house because the family really didn't like me and what was happening. But that was happening. So, so, so he, so that's, so, so I would see him because my grandmother's the matriarch of the family and it was no, it was no big thing. So we, we, we would do that. Well, she uh, got, uh, years later, she got, um, when he was still young, she got married to a preacher. Maybe this is why I don't like preachers. And he forbid her from going to see my grandmother, i.e. seeing me, whatever have you. And, well, they got married and said, so lost contact. Don't judge. Okay, so that's the uh, next son, Eric. This, this new, uh, So I got married. And, and Well, this is strange. Uh, I was in the Air Force, right? And uh, and this was 1970 when I got to yeah, officially in 1970, got in the Air Force. And I was going with, 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 with Debbie at the time. And uh, we was dating for like a, a whole, it's like two years before, for first of all, a whole year, we just, you know, I'm just rapping to it, no, nothing, just kissing, no, no, da, da, da. And, and then the next year, you know, we was, we was boinking, whatever happened. Um, say, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to, we got mad, but I went into the Air Force. So, so, uh, you know, you're young, you're in love, whatever have you. So I said, well, look, you know, we, we, we agree. Well, look, so I'm in the Air Force. They'll give you some money if you're married, whatever have you. I want to be with you anyway. So just, just get married. But, you know, when no kids are in there. Okay. So we get married. While well, I was in the Air Force, she flies down. I was down, uh, I was down at that black line. I was on the Shepherd Air Force Base at the time. We finished my basic training. And I was into uh, well, um, uh, well, my training yeah, I was waiting to be trained, right? And uh, so we get married down there, just a civil service ceremony. And I'll never forget that night, right? So, you know, this is a story of my life. There was a movie playing with, uh, it was like Anthony Quinn. I forgot the name of it. Anthony Quinn, I think it's Sophia Loren, was paying a question where the hotel was, whatever have you. And I wanted to go, I wanted to go there. She wanted to stay in, right? So, you know, we stayed in. And lo and behold, and the thing is, it's so weird because, I mean, I really wasn't thinking enough like that. So we stayed in. I want to go to the movie. She wants to stay in. And she did her little whatever. And so she got pregnant that night. Now, here's the weird thing. So we, she's living together with her. But then she started to, she died. I remember I've been with this woman for like two years, you know, uh, one year intimately, you know, no no worries, right? And as soon as we get married, she, she just changed, you know, it was, and I had known her for a while. I mean, it's just a different person. And she, uh, and well, she did certain things I can't tell you. I can, it's too personal, right? But this marriage was not going to work, not for what she was doing, right? And I'm not blaming nobody or nothing like that. So it ended up, we, we sort of, well, I was still in the Air Force, but 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 Eric would come down, his name is Eric, Eric, his middle name is Anthony, Eric Campbell. Um, so he, so, um, so I would, you know, I was still in the effort, but I would take him like he'd be in the barracks with me. So all the time from, from, from a very young age, you know what I mean? He, he would be with me up until about then, then the marriage really started to fall apart because I wasn't having it. Some stuff happened, whatever have you. And so, so like, uh, really from time of zero to about eight, nine, nine, um, I was with her in his life, but then she started to da, 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 and all this stuff. So it was over, right? Huh. So Eric is the only one I really feel bad about. Well, say feel bad about. Because uh, at times, I mean, it's, it's so weird because he's so, I can see her, her angst because he looks so much like me when he was, especially when I was a kid. Oh man, it's like, if you're a woman, you wake up and every day you look at this kid and this this man that you wanted to control is not there, but there's the kid. So you want to control this kid. So Eric's, I know he's had a rough time. And uh, when I try to reach out to him, whatever, he just, you know, he wasn't having it. In fact, I followed him, whatever have you. He followed me, I guess, also. But uh, for instance, when he graduated high school, he was in a very special program when he graduated high school because he started to act out, you know, father's not around or whatever have you. But interestingly enough, Sophia Henderson Holmes, who was the poet in residence for No More Radio, you know, her and Kurt Lampkin, were poet and register, but it ended up she, um, what she, he was in a special program, but she was his teacher. I didn't notice, but, but at the very end, I, I saw it in a, in a subway one time. It's like, and I say, hey, How you doing? And she said, Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then we start talking. And she said, Well, she had to go to this graduate, there's going to be a graduation, blah, 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 blah. And she somehow she married. I said, Oh, 
I said, well, that's my son. He said, then she said, whoa, really? now I see it. Yeah, because it's the same last name. And she said, that didn't, it didn't even click with me. If she have told me earlier, I would have, I don't know. Anyway, but he ended up not going to his graduation. But they they put out this book because she's, she was a poet. They put out this book, right, where she, he has poetry in it. Interesting enough, right? And uh, so he's there. His poetry was about family and, you know, and loss and all this stuff. So, you know, this boy is like really damaged. Um, anyway, so he's, everybody's older now. So he's born 1971. Okay. Now, while I was in the Air Force, right, we, I hang up, we, we had a group of people, right? And so this is a time where you had, you had your people like Tony K. Barbaro, they had this whole thing that they, they didn't need no men or they were picking jeans, whatever have you. doesn't matter. I was hanging out with this group. And in this group, there was, there was this, this sister, uh, from uh, from uh, uh, from uh, from New Jersey, we were in New Jersey because of that uh, McGuire Air Force Base. And in our crew, you know, we'd be at cruise, and so we did. We like groups of women, boos, girls, girls, boys, right in heaven. And so um, this sister uh, Barbara, uh, Barbara Trammell. Um, I always remember people's names like that. I have a selective memory, right? And so. Uh, we were hanging out for a while, right? And then she sort of disappeared. And then groups, you know, some people stayed. Uh, and then months later, right before, and basically nine months later, she she just comes to me and says, look, I want you to know that I'm going to have a baby. It's yours. But you're going to have, I, I, I don't want, you just, You have no responsibility. This is all on me, blah, 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 blah. And I'm saying, what? <laughs> you know, so I'm trying to get down to see her, you know. And I, and I was only there for the, when, when the baby was just born. But then she disappeared too. So those are my three kids. But there were, there's one more, I should say. Then, this one I had to keep on or whatever. In 1999, oh, I would say, all, all these, all these uh, it's, it's weird in my life. Even though I didn't raise my own child, I've always been in a situation where I was helping raising other children. And strangely enough, they all were at the same age, sort of the same age as, like, as, well, uh, like, like Eric. You know, it was always at different times in, in, in my life, right? Okay, 1999, got this other woman pregnant. But she was, I, I always get these, anyway, even when he was born, she had a home birth. Right. She wouldn't allow me. I never saw the, the child at that particular time. Whatever every child was born. She takes off to California, you know, ends up the whole make a long story short. Uh, she meets this other guy, this, this other brother. She, she, she gets married. They send me papers, you know, to, uh, and by this time I was in Africa. And uh, and they sent me, you know, legal papers, you know, for the, the, the guy. They got married. The guy wanted to adopt to adopt him. You know. I said, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through no drama. I'm not gonna go through no, no whatever have you. So I signed the papers, so he's adopted, and uh, so now he's 20 years old actually. Um, and they all, interestingly enough, you know, all of this, nah, okay, so, so, so that's it. So I got four children on this planet. None, of, well, none of I, I, I was in their lives. Though I've been a whole lot of other children's like a whole lot of. It's kind of weird because, oof, I know. They, they hold it. See, the thing is, people have values in certain things. But, you know, luckily for me, the, um, um, my understanding stuff, I don't know about, 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 the, about the girl child, about Barbara's child. Um, I don't, you know, the all, it seems like all of the, all of the mothers, I pick a good mother, you know, no, no, whatever have you, they were all the solid situations. But, um, uh, and, and it's kind of interesting because the way I was raised, I didn't have a father in the house, right? But at that time when I was raised, we had a whole community thing. So we was raised by little, literally the, the community. So in this day and age, that doesn't happen. When you have a single mother, whatever, have you, they don't get any community help like that because of certain things, the drug, whatever, certain things. So I tell you all of this only because I don't know how long, I shouldn't say it like this, because I'm not gonna put it out in the universe, but I just wanted to, like I said, this is this this channel is really for, or these, these commentaries is really for like a memoir, and I wanna make everything plain, because so many things have happened, come together, I'm going like, I don't know, man, there's gotta be a reason why, why in this particular point in my life, every, like everything is like coming, woof. I have no idea what's going on. I just go with the universe,
hopefully everything will be all right. Um, that's it. I have, that's just my life, you know, and I, I try to do good. I raise that. My, my wife has a, has a child, you know, he, he's, he's, just turned 18. So in a weird sort of sense, even my young, the youngest child just turned, uh, just turned 20. I've always been monitored, been with people that the age of my children, but, but even we, I mean, and I don't get involved with his, with his life. He's in South Africa. He's raised, he's with his father in Cape Town, but, but, but he comes to visit us like, you know, with December break, whatever have you, but we're not that Type because he still got that thing with his father and his mother and da da da, but he's starting to 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 change a little bit. So let's see what happens this December. If this flu is over and I get back, <laughs> whatever is going on, I get back to Africa. So I'll be more appreciative. I like that. I'll be more whatever. I think this whole flu thing. Maybe if there's, if there's an upside, you know, we should become more community, and we should be. Uh, Thankful and grateful of, of things that happen. You can really you you going to really find out who your friends are. Let's put it that way, and all the rest of that stuff. So let me. I I made this rather long, and because, like I said, I don't have a lot of um, subscribers and followers, or whatever have you. Because I don't want it. this. Just I'm, I'm not, this channel is not monetized. Nothing like that. This is just a, a way for me to. It has been a way for me to to chronicle my life. That's all. That's all it's been, and uh, so I thank the universe for this opportunity to you know at least lay out the whole the whole child thing, the whole offspring thing, and they're all. I believe me, they all all are. I not, not believe me, I don't know, but I think they're all. Hopefully, they're all doing well. <sighs> Later, for me, T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet, letting you know well, what. Wow. Letting you know stuff. Be well.